My name is Dan Kalb, City Council Member, City of Oakland, and the City of Oakland is a strong supporter of the Compact of Mayors. Well, to really uh, impact climate change, to really reduce emissions, it has to happen at the local level. We see federal governments uh, in the United States and throughout the world take limited action, if any action at all. States and local governments, sub-regional governments, cities, counties, that's where action really happens. That's where we could actually have an impact on people uh, to reduce emissions. Whether it's our electricity sector, our transportation sector, or what have you, we have to work at the local level with our states, with our regional governments, to, put, to reduce emissions, and that's where we can get the most change done. Well, to, to know that other cities are also working to reduce emissions, that's what, uh, that's what allows us to say, oh, it's worth it. If one city does it in the United States, that's not going to have any impact on global warming. If 40 cities, 400 cities, 4,000 cities and counties throughout the country and other countries all join together to take action, that's going to have a tremendous impact on reducing emissions and getting us to the point where we need to get to to avoid the worst impacts of global warming. Well, you know, we have to reduce our heat trapping greenhouse gas emissions in Oakland, in Alameda County, in the state of California, throughout the country, throughout our planet. Um, and so we're taking action at the local level in the city of Oakland. Uh, we're, we're building new developments uh, that are transit oriented, that are near transit centers. We're expanding our bus rapid transit. We're uh, uh, purchasing and incentivizing electric vehicles. Uh, we're working to uh, be, get involved in urging people to put solar panels on their, on their, on their rooftops, uh, both uh, residences, uh, multifamily buildings, and commercial. We have incentive programs we're, we're promoting, increasing. Uh, we're, there, we have a whole climate action plan. Our city has an energy and climate action plan that has short-term, intermediate-term, and long-term steps. And we're on, on track to put those, that plan into place. At the same time, we have a resiliency director to make sure that as climate change kicks in, even though we know we can reduce emissions and reduce the, worst, reduce the likelihood of the worst impacts of global warming, we know global warming is still going to happen to some extent. So we have to adapt to that. We have to reduce our, emission, reduce our emissions and adapt to what's going to be happening. And so we have a resiliency director, as other cities have, to make sure that while we reduce our emissions and do the best we can to, uh, uh, to impact while we, do, while we reduce our emissions, do the best we can to, to uh, impact the, the overall uh, global warming, uh, we also have to take action to make sure that our residents are protected. And so we're working in both areas. Uh, we're extensively reducing our emissions, electricity sector, transportation sector, industrial, and we want to do what we can do and plan for the future to, to protect our citizens should global warming kick in in a significant fashion. Uh, well, there are a few things that we've done. We, uh, we've changed our, our policies in terms of what vehicles the city buys and what vehicles we require taxi cabs to buy. Uh, so uh, we've increased the number of uh, low emission, uh, high efficiency vehicles uh, that they're required to buy. So for, in other words, taxi cab companies, when they buy new vehicles, uh, more, more than half of them have to be low emission or electric vehicles in the future. Same for the city of, of Oakland. We have to purchase, when we purchase new vehicles, we have to purchase vehicles, we're required by law to purchase vehicles that are low emission, alternative fuel vehicle, electric vehicles. And so those, that helps reduce emissions overall. We've also taken steps to expand the financing available so people who, are, uh, who want to put solar uh, panels uh, on, their, on their roofs or who want to do energy efficiency upgrades to their buildings can do so in a fi uh, to finance that in a way that allows them to actually accomplish what they want to accomplish without having to put a lot of money out uh, up front. So those are two successes that, we're, that are in progress and we hope to build on those. Well, it's not just right now, it's 10 years ago and 20 years ago. Um, and now, here's where we are now. Uh, if we don't take action now to reduce our emissions, the worst impacts of global warming are gonna, are gonna we're gonna see that in California and throughout the world. Um, increased heat, which means increased risk of wildfire, uh, worsening smog uh, uh, situations throughout in our urban areas, um, uh, rising sea levels, reduced uh, snowpack, which impacts our water supply. Well, we're already seeing that now, but if we take action 
locally, statewide, regionally, and throughout the world, we can reduce emissions to the point where we could avoid the worst impacts that would happen in the next 30, 40 years. And that's what we have to uh, unite together on. And that's why we're here at this conference today.